All right, uh, just injury notes from the game. Uh, Karis Jackson had a knee, did not return, does not look bad. Uh, we'll get further information on the eval uh, in the coming days, but it doesn't seem like it's serious. Uh, Jabari Small was evaluated for a uh, concussion, did not return. And then TK McClendon uh, left with a foot, did not return. We'll get more information on that uh, in the next couple of days. Other than that, we came out relatively clean. We had a lot of guys play a lot of football tonight, which was great. Um, but they had to fight through it a bit. It was a lot for a lot of guys played a full game, which are not used to playing. So um, great effort from a, a bunch of guys. Uh, we got great situational football today to learn from, which was outstanding in both ends of the half and end of the game. Um, and then to, to win the game on a walk-off field goal to get in position was outstanding. And then obviously, uh, Narverson hitting from 59 was something that I didn't have on my bingo card today. So um, that was really, really cool to see. Jalen Harrell with two sacks was, was really great to see as well. He played a lot of football tonight. And then um, I thought we did a really nice job possessing the football too. We, we, we managed to chew up some clock and um, keep the ball in our possession. Penalties were hurt us today. Uh, that was tough. A lot of, especially early, had a bunch of third down penalties that, that knocked us into some long yardage that kind of set us back early in the game on uh, that first quarter in particular. Um, and really both sides on third down, offense and defense, we had some issues. So I got to clean those up. But um, overall, I told the guys in the locker room, you know, that the people like to say the preseason doesn't mean anything. Well, it means something to us. It means something to the guys that are playing. Um, and so to, to go out there and play well and, and find a way to win a game, you know, that, that matters to us. And again, won't count for the standings at the end of the year, but it does matter. And it's important to see those guys play well and, and leave on a successful note off the field. So. I think that five penalties, one decline. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, anytime you commit five of them up front, it's concerning. That wasn't very clean on, on our uh, offensive line up front. So um, things to take a look at, you know, hand placement, things like that. Um, but yeah, five penalties and, and having one decline, you know, it's not not great. How would you assess, without seeing the film, obviously, the, the play of uh, Rudolph and Malik? I mean, they both did really good things. Um, you know, they both completed the ball for the most part. They didn't put the ball in harm's way too much. I mean, Malik had a high ball that got tipped for the interception that, um, you know, could have lost the game for us at that moment. But um, I thought both of them did well. They operated well. Um, they, they led the team down and scored points, both of them. So um, I'll watch the film a little bit further with some more detail. You know, I can give you some better answers once I watch it. But off the field, my initial impression was both of them played, um, you know, well enough. Uh, huge, hugely important for me. That's I want as much of that as I could possibly get. Just managing timeouts, uh, managing situations. I, I thought I, you know, I'm, I'm kind of pissed at myself um, in the first half where I, I took that timeout. I think there was like, I don't know, maybe 10 or 12 seconds left on the clock. I should have taken it all the way down, and that might have been the difference in them being able to kick a field goal or not. So uh, learning lessons as we go, but I should have waited longer to take the timeout. Um, but yeah, it was great. You rallied, yeah, two, uh, you rallied twice. I mean, how, how fun was it to watch that? How cool was it? Yeah, that's that's you know that's a sign of a of a really connected team to me. Um, that's one of the things that we preach, and and just having those guys up and into it, and cheering on the guys that they work with every day, and and work hard, and uh, go against on a regular basis to see that kind of energy and excitement um, in a preseason game is is going to serve us well, and it, it, it's important to see that. So um, I'm happy happy they did, and I had plenty of energy too when he made that field goal to win. So um, it was exciting. Nine from Narvison. You said you didn't have it on your bingo card, and it looked like it had a lot more on it. What kind of leg has he shown in practice? Like, what did you think his range was? Yeah, I mean, he's shown a, uh, he's shown that range, so it wasn't that part wasn't surprising. But I was I was getting ready to punt it, and Colt Colt kind of yells at me. No, he goes just he goes kick it, kick it, kick it, and I was like, all right, we'll kick it. I'll give a kid a shot at from fifty nine, and um, you know, Colt had a ton of trust in him. Obviously, he works with him very closely and understands the range that he has and where he could be accurate from. And um, great call by Colt to to push me to kicking it and uh, I mean unbelievable execution 59 yards is no small feat that's a that's a that's a grown man kick in the NFL I mean <laughs> that's not easy to hit so um, that was great for him to, to put on tape for himself too so uh, really cool to see yeah I think it's still competition you know I think I think Julius has, has played well for himself he's he's put himself out there um, Played well overall, done all the things we asked the running back to do. So um, he got the first carries. And then I think Jabari Smalls played really well, too. And so um, we got some competition there. And I think that those guys have played uh, probably a little bit better uh, than Hassan at this point. And obviously, Hassan is a, is a special teams demon, and that matters, too. So um, that, that competition is ongoing. we got another you know week to go.
because of his hamstring, and is he going to miss time because of that? Uh, yeah, Kyle's out the hamstring. I, I don't know when he'll be back. I'm hopeful that he might get back for practice, potentially the game. Um, but we wanted to make sure that we got a really good long look at Jaquan as a returner, obviously with how he returned last week and what we've seen in practice and his performance at receiver in the game. Uh, he earned himself a really long look, and we wanted to make sure what we saw last week was real. Um, and he has continued to stack um, competitive days as a receiver and a returner. And so that's a really positive step for him. And it was really good to see uh, him make some plays in the passing game as well. David Martin Robinson seemed to step up big in that fourth quarter for you. What does he kind of fall in that tight end hierarchy? Yeah, he's making a push. Um, he's really done a nice job as a, you know, for an undrafted player. Uh, He's been a, a, a nice surprise for us. Um, he's got a really unique ability because he, he's really smooth runner and, and smooth catcher. Uh, but he's also physical and he's strong. So he, he can do a lot of things for us, particularly special teams is, is one of them when you're fighting for that third and fourth tight end spot. Um, really, really pleased with where he's, where he's at and what he's shown us. And I'm um, excited about his potential as a, as a tight end. I think um, he's shown that every week now. Yeah, I mean, building depth with, with those guys is always going to be important. Um, it was good to see Jalen with some production tonight. Um, that was great. I'll, I'll know more when I watch the tape tomorrow, uh, but with Isaiah as well. But anytime that you got some depth you can build and guys that, even if they don't make your roster, are, are practice squad players that you feel good about elevating uh, if you get in a pinch, those are the guys you're looking for and as many of those as you can find. So um, I thought those guys played hard and played well tonight. Nick is automatic, but he can't hit from 59. Does that make you... Take another look at that spot? Uh, at this point, no, I don't think so. But I think it was good to see uh, hit from 59 and Narverson hit it. So no, I don't, I don't think that changes much at the current moment. Um, but it was really a positive development for us and uh, for him that he put that on tape and enter live action not to hit that field goal. As the news came out about Arden Key, what are your thoughts on that? His suspension being overturned? Yeah, same as they were the last time we talked about it. You know, it's a league matter. And until we get any kind of official word from the league, then I'll refrain from comment just like I did last time. So um, that's about all I can answer on that one. Throughout, but throughout the whole time, like, have you held hope that it would get overturned or did you look at it? I just, it's, it was in the league's hands for the appeal process and, and there's nothing I can do or say or we can do as an organization. It's, it's in their hands officially. So um, you just wait and yeah, you're hopeful of course, but you wait and you see what happens. It was a little surprising to see a bunch of NWI tonight as we did. What was mm -hmm. the thought? Uh, it was just good to see him play. I mean, we wanted to put him in position to make some plays for us, which he did. It was good to see him get in the end zone. Um, not that I need to see a lot from, from NWI. I know what he's capable of and how productive he's been. Um, but we just, you know, when you got as many guys as we have, he's kind of forced into action, you know what I mean? So uh, he's got to be able to play a little bit. And hopefully it allowed the quarterbacks to play well. Sometimes there's a comfort level in having some of those types of players out there with you. And um, that's just kind of where you're at. Different guys, different situations, different positions, too. With injuries kind of happen at the inside linebacker spot, obviously Chance Campbell continues to build off of yeah. the momentum in practices and games. What else does he need to show you, or do you feel like you're seeing a lot from him? Seeing a lot. I think he's really done a nice job of, of stacking competitive performances, um, showing that he's capable of, of being one of those uh, backup inside linebackers that's contribute on special teams. I mean, he flies around the field. He plays really hard. He's got a ton of energy. So i um, seen a lot of great things from him in two games. And, and um, he's made a really strong case for himself. Are you seeing a lot from that group of corners with Trey and Jarvis Eric? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that that's the that preseason can be challenging for those guys. And, you know, they're going up against different offenses and sometimes the balls get over their head. And I thought they've competed really well, though. And so that's the, the key point. And when you're evaluating those guys, it's more about are they doing what they're supposed to do? Are their eyes right? Is the technique right? Um, and are they being competitive on the football? And so far, I've been pretty pleased with what we've seen there. Um, you know, I'm sure there's there's plenty of room for improvement. It's not perfect. But um, I've, I've been, especially particularly with Jarvis, been really happy with what we've seen out of him. Thanks, guys.